if what you are doing is of God or from God, do not stop or do not allow anyone to stop you. From the first reading from the book of Numbers chapter 11, we heard how Moses was getting tired, was overwhelmed because the people of Israelites were complaining a lot about him. They complained about food. God gave them food. They complained about water. God gave them water. But this time, Moses was telling God, please, I need a helper. And God said to Moses, gather 70 elders and I will put your spirit in them. And Moses gathered 70 elders and the Bible says that God took some spirit from Moses and deposited the spirit in them and they were prophesying. But something strange happened. There were two people, Eldad and Midad. These two were not in the tent, but they were supposed to be there, but they were not there. But while they were in the camp, not in the tent, they also prophesied, but they were not in the tent. And uh, one young man came up and said to Moses, how come Eldad and Midad are prophesying, but they are not here. We saw them prophesying, and Joshua stood up. He went to Moses and said to Moses, please, my Lord, stop them. We don't want them to prophesy. They are not among us. They are not one of the elders God told you to select. Stop them. And Moses said to Joshua, are you jealous for my sake? The question is, who is trying to stop us? Or who are we trying to stop from doing God's work? From the Gospel reading, we see again, John came up to Jesus and said to Jesus, we saw someone casting out demon in your name, and we tried to stop him because he is not one of us. He doesn't follow us. He is not an apostle. He is not an exorcist. He is not supposed to cast out demons. But Jesus said to John, whoever is not against us is for us. If what you are doing is of God, don't allow anyone to stop you. And one thing, in that Numbers chapter 11, when these 70 elders were prophesying, the Bible says that all of a sudden they stopped prophesying. Why? Because of jealousy. We don't know if God took the spirit he deposited in them back, but what we know is that they stopped prophesying because of jealousy. They stopped prophesying. Are we jealous? Or are we envious? That is the question. Are we being stopped? Or are we stopping someone? Maybe where you work, at your working place, you are just employed, and everyone there is not happy with you because they are afraid. They are saying, who knows if she is coming to take our job. I don't want her to take my position. I don't want him to take my position. Are you being stopped? Or are you stopping someone? When Moses was born, Pharaoh tried to stop him. When Jesus was born, Herod tried to stop him. Saul tried also to stop who? David. Who is trying to stop us? Or who are we trying to stop? That is the question.